Dana from the blog thisyellowfarmhouse.com and today I'm going to teach you how to knit. Today we're going to learn how to cast on, knit, and bind off. Once you can do those three things, you can officially call yourself a knitter. To get started, all you need is a ball of yarn and a pair of needles. Thick yarn in a light color is great for beginners. Today I'm using Lion Brand Hometown USA yarn in Dallas Gray. I'm also using a set of Clover US size 13 knitting needles and I'll link both of those down below. Now you need to get the yarn onto your needle by creating a series of small loops called casting on. We'll call the end of your yarn the tail. The side attached to the ball or skein of yarn is your working yarn. To make a slip knot, wrap your yarn around your index finger with the tail underneath. From the top, reach in and pull up a loop from your working yarn. Hold the tail and pull. Insert your needle and tighten it just a little bit. You don't want to make your yarn too tight. With your working yarn facing you, bring your thumb and index finger together through the middle of your two strands of yarn and pull up the working yarn and twist in towards your needle. Place this stitch onto your needle and you have your second stitch. We're going to cast on five stitches. When you twist, make sure the working yarn crosses on top of the tail. Once you cast on five stitches, you're ready to start knitting. Holding your knitting needle in your left hand, you're going to knit those five stitches onto the empty needle in your right hand. Insert your right needle into the first stitch on the front side of the left needle. Make sure you don't also grab the back of the stitch or the entire loop or you'll drop that stitch. Wrap your working yarn under everything and up between the bottom needle and the top needle. Use your index finger to guide the right needle under that loop while picking up the working yarn and then push the stitch off of the left needle. Insert your needle into the second stitch and repeat until you knit all five stitches. Make sure your needles are touching as you knit the stitches so there's no room for the yarn to slip out. Mm -hmm. 
you finished knitting your first row. To knit your second row, switch the needle holding your stitches back to your left hand and knit across the same as you did for row one. Check to make sure that you have all five stitches. You'll see our cast on edge and the two rows that we knit. Continue knitting a few more rows and then we'll bind off. So now you've knit a few rows and we're ready to get the yarn off of the needle. To bind off, knit the first two stitches the same as we did before. You'll bind off with two stitches on your right needle, no more and no less. Use your needle to pick up the first stitch you already knit, lift it over the second stitch and off the needle. Knit another stitch so you have two on the right again and pick it up and over. Remember you always want to have two stitches on the right needle. Do this until you have one stitch left on the right needle. Now you're going to want to cut your yarn a couple inches from your knitting needle and gently take it off the needle, pull it through the end of the loop, and make sure you pull it tight. Using a yarn needle, weave your ends into your knitting. That's all there is to it. Like with anything else, it's going to feel strange at first, but please don't get discouraged. Just keep learning and practicing. If you like this video and want to see more, make sure to click the subscribe button. And make sure you check out the other videos in my Learn to Knit series. I also have knitting patterns on thisyellowfarmhouse.com.